Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited to present this challenge for Erica Rose Creates May Crop. Crops are always so fun because you get so much done and you get to hang out with your pals. Now, in the event that you cannot make it to the crop, you know, there's there's all the things that happened are still in the group. You can see all of the challenges and all that kind of stuff. Super fun. Oh, and there's usually a freebie cut file, which I love. And you who, uh, I was asked to do a challenge and I decided to come up with a sketch challenge. So voila, let's look at the sketch really quickly. Let me bring it over here just a little bit. Those lights are bugging me. So super simple. We've got a bordered layout, three large elements in the center, a title, some wordy bits, and some splatter. So guys, I was thinking with this sketch, you could totally use any collection, any kind of photos, anything you can think of whatsoever. So instead of the envelopes, put three big circles. Instead of the envelopes, put squares, put three photos, put three repeating elements. I figured that would be so doable for you guys and me because I'm gonna do it as well. Now I have this kit from Erica Shop. It's a memory lane collection kit from Fancy Pants Designs. I think this was the collection. Oh, and it also came, yeah, the collection also had all of these. Um, it's a paper tags and card set the enamel dots, and then there were two each of six designs. And then I also got these puffies to go with it, which is fab because I love puffies. Okay, now I don't have much of a plan. Actually, all I knew was what paper I was going to use. And I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that I came up with a sketch for it. And now this, this collection is memory lane. So I thought I would use an older photo. This is my best boy right here. This is my Rocco. He passed away in 2020 at age 10, which is the, you know, the, a long lifespan for an English bulldog. So he was my best boy, loved him to pieces, miss him every day. So I thought he needs to be represented. So since I have this piece right here, I think I'm going to have instead of envelopes, I'm going to use exact same size um, blocks of pattern paper. So what are we feeling? Now Rocco was a red brindle. I'm going to definitely bring in this wood grain. He's against this wood floor right here. So I think that would be cute. I'm looking around. You can't tell. I'm looking around going, where's my trimmer? Where could it go? <laughs> like, like it's that hard to figure out. You know what I should do? I think, now I love this so much, right? I think I'm gonna save this and do a whole band design across with this paper. And we can go ahead and put, I don't even know how much I'm gonna use. I just know that I wanna put three pieces across. And let's see, his head is kind of facing that way. So he might be in the middle, but I have a feeling he's gonna be right there. All right, so let's see what we would want on our background if we've decided that is in the foreground. This is gonna be my matting paper. Why do I know that from looking at it? Because it's not, it's a pattern that's on a diagonal. And if something is on a diagonal, I love to mat with it. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is grab a piece of stash white cardstock. Let me grab that. I will just keep blathering away while I see what I have handy dandy. Okay, found a piece of some kind of white sturdy cardstock, don't know. All right, so we can get an idea of what we're looking at. So we've got Big Rocco here, and then I just need like three patterns. So one, two, three. And I know I, know I already have that really deep pattern for uh, our wood grain. So what I think I wanna do, what I think I want to do is, get my handy dandy Easy Runner Grand, and I'm gonna mat this, and then I will make the other pieces of paper all the same size as what my photo would be with a nice kind of sturdy mat on it. All right, that's my plan. So this will be one. We know it's gonna go on a wood grain, right? So let's see what else will really show. This is gonna be a mat, so I can bring that to the side. Ooh, definitely some of this to have some nice white. <gasps> Or do I put him in the middle and have two of this? I think that's what I'm gonna do because I love how nice and bright it'll be. Okay, let me get that homework underway 
and I'll meet you right back here. So I went ahead and I tacked down my background, which was a scrap of cardstock, as well as this wood piece. Now I did decide to switch up the floral pattern paper I was going to use that was more, it was bright white with floral because I didn't want floral sitting on top of floral. That's the whole reason. So I think Mr. Rocco will go right in the middle and I'll have my pokey dotty bits. Then I went into our ephemera and, oh, I might cut out that little piece. <laughs> I went into the ephemera and grabbed a couple pieces I liked. I like these little scenes that look like watercolors with the tags. So I've got a couple of them and it's okay if you don't see the whole scene. I think that's super fun. And I've got a bunch of these, um, these, not this one. Ooh, but that's a floral. I'm going to cut that out. Oh, I'm going to cut out the bunny. I know that they're, they're already in tags, but sometimes I just see something that wants to be oh, pretty fussy cut out because they can start adding little elements to our projects. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to get these things stacked down. I do have my photo popped up on a little bit of dimension, so that will really show. I grabbed uh, some stash alphas, and I'm going to have this read uh, my best boy for my title. Then, guys, let me see. I want to look at my sketch again really quickly. So we've got our three pieces going across. We'll have our title down here, a couple of splatters, and that's really what the sketch is. So it's just gonna come down to how many goodies you want to layer up. Let me do my homework, let me get these pieces down, and we'll take a look at filling in the rest of our clusters with these goodies. Okay, y'all, I've got all of these little things going on. Everything but my little mothy. My mothy, I don't know if he gets to go. I've got my sweet bunnies, which that totally works because, you know, He's such a sweet little, well, little, I mean, he was 70 something pounds, but you know, he's a sweet, sweet boy. Let's take a look at these things. I haven't even taken a look-see at them. They are the puffy stickers. There's 46 of them. Look at this. This gets me from having to put anything into the hole of the tag. <gasps> do I do another one? Why not? Repeating Ella Men's. Love it. Okay. So these are like a charcoal black. It works. There's some of that tone in there. So I'm good with that. We have the word bits that were in the, um, in, I'm not saying it right. Maybe I want to move these. Let me see. I don't know if I can. Hold on. Oh, no, they're staying. There were some word bits that are in our sketch. So let me just go ahead and layer them right up on top of the florals. You know, there's a title and some sentiments, which I like. Let's see. Um, home, yesterday. Oh, my poor sweet baby. Look at him. Let's do a little. Well, I wanted to have all the little wordy bits on this side because that's you know how it is in the sketch. I'm trying to try stay as true to the sketch as I can. I mean, I made the sketch, so let's at least try. Oh, there's a little puffy bunny. Let's put a third bunny. My little sweet bunny boy. Okay, love him. Okay, so we have that. And then we've got some little tiny bits as well as our enamel dots that we can kind of just pop in here and there. And I like this kind of thing. So let's see. We have just the sweetest little bird. I'll put that up on the camera to decorate my tag a little bit. And then the mushroom. Oh, so I have a camera there. What do I want to put? Maybe some little leafy bits. Just some little leafy bits. There's a kind of a home scene behind this rabbit. You're not going to see much of it. It just looks like some watercolors. But why not have some nice little puffy leafy bits? Maybe do the same thing over here. Nobody is suggesting that the rabbits have leaves. I am just saying it's cute. It is cute. Okay, love all of those bits. Now... The enamel dots can come in to save the day. All right, let's see where we want to tuck them in. I really did like this pinky tone, so let's work on that a little bit. I always like to put the larger ones, you know, kind of half tucked because, you know, they're larger. Why not? So I have one kind of half tucked there. Let's get another big boy over here on this seam, and then... Let me bring in some of this charcoal because my title is so dark. 
let's do that. And same exact thing, same, same, same in each of my clusters. And then the little bit of this gold that I do. Oh, I had a piece just pop right off that I really do like. So let's go ahead and play up the gold just a little bit. I, oh, no, don't like it there. Let's go ahead and put it like that. There we go. All right, I need to just pop on some splatty bits. No big deal. Then, guys, I'm going to have still shots down below. I have links down below for um, Erica's website. And on the website, you can get the link to join in on the crop. So come hang out with us. We're going to have so much fun. And I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Still shots to follow, friends.